Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 9th through the 15th. And I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be closing it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. Uh, if they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. Is it just me, or is the color really changing, like, on and off and on and off? Is it from the cards? Yeah, it's from the cards. Okay, I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's get you started. Let's take a look at... Um, What's going on for you? Second week of December. <clears throat> Alright, so the overall energy for the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Things are moving, but they're moving kind of slow. You not like it, it's too slow. But they are moving forward for you. Uh, in your recent past, you get the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. A lot of sadness. A lot, a lot of sadness in your past. A lot of regret. A lot of what the hell was I thinking? You know, beating yourself up for things. Um, something. Something not so great happened. But I feel like you ended all of that that would that was bringing all the all of the sadness you ended it pretty sharply kind of like you figured it out and then you're like okay i'm out that's it i'm out you know that's what it's looking like um in your current situation you get the five of wands the empress and the seven of pentacles there's conflict around you somebody's creating conflict around you is not leaving you alone here you're in the empress mode here uh, doing your thing coming up with great ideas for yourself, growing day by day, taking it taking it slow. You know, even though you want things to move faster, you are taking it, you know, step by step here. You're not rushing the process. You know it's a process and you know that um, it'll bring you a lot. But there's conflict around you. Somebody's causing conflict. Uh, in your immediate future, you get the Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. Um, you're feeling tied up to something. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out what it is when we clarify. You're feeling like either you're working on something and you feel stuck. You feel stuck. There's this sense of feeling stuck. Uh, what you should be doing is use your intuition, you know, use your gut feeling. Don't listen to this when it's starting to say oh no you can't do that or why would you do that or things like that uh doubt when it's creating doubt listen to this listen to your intuition here uh there's some love offer that you possibly want to make to somebody or you know something that feels good to you not necessarily oh my god it's a connection it could be for some of you for others you're doing something uh, with passion, with love here. So, let's clarify things. I may, like, my hands are uh, a mess. I did things with super glue and stuff, and I can't really get it out, and I cut my finger. So, I'm going to be a mess shuffling the cards. I might drop them from time to time. I'm going to try not to, because things are hurting. Things are... Mm. Yeah, that's what I do sometimes. I'm like a little kid playing with toys. Uh, let's see. Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what's moving here. <clears throat> you, my dear Cappy, are moving towards something that brings you a lot, a lot of passion. There's new begin beginnings all over the place here for you. You know, you're... Um, I feel like you are really actually dropping. This is usually a forceful, a powerful kind of beginning. A let's do this now. I kind of feel that you're uh, letting go of this idea that it has to happen like this. See, I can't. Yeah, with this one, I can't with this. One. I, I got a cut right here. Um, 
So things, you understand that things don't need to move as fast as you want them. You know, you're just letting it go, releasing that, and things will start happening and they will lead you towards something very passionate. All right, let's, um, do we look at the past? I don't think I want to look at the past for you. What's in the past is in the past, right? And there's a lot of sadness, that's for sure. Let me look at the Ace of Swords in your past. Yeah, you've been through a situation that was really, really hard for you to get out of, but you've eliminated all of the deceiving kind of energy, the illusions, the uh, fooling yourself, stuff like that, you know? And you started working towards something else, towards your stability here, you know? Yeah, it was sad. It was, um, it was something that you thought you couldn't let go of, but you did. Whatever it was. Let's take a look at this conflict in your current energy. Somebody wants to get together with you. Back together because I feel like somebody was left in the cold out here. And that's actually creating a lot of conflict here. Somebody's pushing to um, for this union. You know, I don't feel like it's you, to be honest. But it's creating a lot of conflict for you. Let me do the Empress. You're going through a major, major transformation now. And I feel like you're done with just standing by and, you know, not taking any kind of action towards towards you, towards your um, life here, you know. Just moving and you're moving slow, yes, you know. You're taking your time. You're um, accepting help from the universe, which usually means slow kind of movement, but... Um, you're feeling that it's you're on the right path here, you know? But you're done with just sitting around and not taking action towards whatever it is that you like doing or you want doing. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles. Cappy, uh, you're using your intuition a lot when it comes to um, building up your material world. You are using your intuition, which is actually awesome. And uh, something that you may not really know yet, you're heading slowly but surely towards a partnership. Again, pentacles all over. This could be about work. Um, you could be partnering up with somebody here that's going to help your growth. You know, for some of you. Let me do the Eight of Swords for your immediate future. Yeah, this is not you. The Eight of Swords feeling stuck here. This is somebody that's attached to you. Somebody that cannot let you go, somebody that watches you, somebody that is thinking about other options, but the only thing that they can come up with is you. It's like, okay, I am looking, but I want my cappy. And they feel like, oh my God, I cannot escape this. Let's uh, do the High Priestess. Again, conflict. The devil is here, or the shadow side as it's called in this deck, um, in regards to this connection. (sighs) 
you you're still using your intuition i feel like you're trying to keep away from this and it's not permitted at this time uh because the other other person is keeping on interfering here in your um energy and yeah it's it's bringing in a lot of conflict a lot of oh my god i want this to end but that is something that you actually need to work through you this is kind of a lesson to you where this is your challenge right now because i see you moving slowly but surely towards building yourself up but this is kind of like uh a test from the universe if you will you know kind of like sending you all of this nudges kind of like let's see if let's see if you really want to move on let's see if you really want to build yourself you know and you're getting these challenges along the way now how you're gonna look at them you're you're i feel like you know what to do here it's gonna require a lot of patience a lot of um intuition um but you know how to handle them just know that these are tests from the universe so let's take a look at the knight of cups Cappy, you're, um, I'm really loving your energy. Uh, in regards to love, to emotions, yeah, you're still disappointed. You're still sad about how things went and things like that. But you're so much within your power here that I feel like nothing can really touch you right now. You're not open. Emotionally, you're not open currently because of this recent experience that you had. And it's, it's okay. We all do that, you know, but you are so good where you're at that this person doesn't need a partner they're good on their own they're with somebody because they enjoy their company because they want to not not because they need to all right so you're in this place which is actually amazing and this is how your reading is ending with the hermit which is telling me that you're doing a lot of healing a lot of self-work here you know so you're in a great place. Uh, uh, everything that's going on with this person that keeps... It's looking like they keep um, bugging you while you're doing your thing. Um, those are just... It seems like those are just um, tests from the universe. We all get those. When we're on the right path, we all get those um, things that happen that make us question. Is this the right path for me? Is this not? Why is this happening? If this is the good path, then why do I have these challenges? Because we always get them. So let me pull up some cards from the universe for you. There's a, there's a, again, Phoenix rising from the ashes, transformation, complete transformation. Um, and I feel like you're you're even open about it, you know, going out with friends, talking about this with your closest friends, your people, your family, your friends. It's not something that you're hiding from. Yeah, it is scary. It is looking new. It is looking like what the hell is going on? Because one day you're good, the other day you feel like you're going nuts. That's what it's hap that's what's happening when you're going through transformation. So I feel like you're not hiding from it, which is actually a really interesting thing because most people are afraid to talk about it. You're not. So, Cappy, uh, this is what I have for you. I hope it helped, and um, I'll see you next time.